Hi, I'm Chip Foos. I'm here at the uh, SEMA Show 2013 Las Vegas. In the BASF booth, we've got Jerry and Marine Magnuson's Magnitude, the 32 Ford Roadster that is a complete hand-built body and one-off car that we built for him at Foos Design. We finished it a few years ago and uh, I'm very proud to have it in the booth this week. SEMA is amazing. You know, I've been coming to SEMA since 1984 and I have just watched it grow and grow and grow to the monster that it is today. It's the show that everybody looks forward to every year. The Foos Experience is the new truck and trailer that we brought. It's a merchandising truck. We've got a couple cars that are displayed outside of it, but we're selling uh, some of the t-shirts, the die-cast collectible cars, license plates, different things. So, you know, if you can't afford to build a Foos car, hopefully you can afford to take a little cotton home. And if I'm out there, I'll sign it for you. When I choose a color for the car, actually the car is telling me what it needs to be. And I have no idea what color I'm going to do it until we're getting closer and closer to actually painting the car. And a lot of times that decision is based on who the owner is as well. You know, I learn what their mannerisms are, what their tastes are, how they decorate their homes, the cars that they drive, and I try to fit a color to fit not only the car, but the people that own it as well. And I'll spend months figuring out colors for a car, just mixing, making panels, putting them outside, looking at how that color reflects in daylight, sunlight, how it's reflecting on a top surface with a sky tone, how it's reflecting the earth back into it. I may be looking at one color with just subtle shade differences, metallic differences, pearl differences, how it's sprayed with more air pressure, less air pressure. We'll spray hundreds of panels before we know exactly what color the car is going to be. The color is very personal and it either makes or breaks the car. We've been using the Glaser at 90 line for about two years now and I was extremely impressed when we started spraying but how easy it is. You have to change the way you spray. You're, you, normally you're used to really dumping the paint, trying to get it to flow and keep it wet. You don't do that with the, with the water base. You actually turn your gun down, pull it back a little bit and just kind of almost mist the color on because you don't want to get it really wet. You've got to let that water evaporate so you want to just get it to cover and then it dries and then the clear coat is exactly the same as the solvent based paint. You know, it's no different other than it's easier to spray. They're helping me make the most beautiful colors I can possibly make and that's what it's all about. It's that first impression. It's amazing the very last thing you do to a car which is the paint is the first thing that you see. I'm Chip Foose. I am proud to be associated with BASF. I spray the 90 line and I'm happy with it.